correct formula will give you half mark. Please try to write all the steps. In descriptive exams, all steps are important. Hello friends, welcome to Jay Academy. I Ratan Agarwal welcome you to today's session. Again in this series of calculation tips, let us take an example. Let's start with Sri Ganesha. What are they saying? They say, sir, there is a sphere whose radius is 3.5 cm. And they are asking us to find the surface area of the sphere. As I told you, you should know the formula correctly. I know surface area of sphere is equal to 4 pi r square. Correct formula will give you half mark. Please try to write all the steps. In descriptive exams, all steps are important. Okay, now comes the next step called substitution. 4 into 3.5, sorry, 4 into value of pi, 22 upon 7 into 3.5 square. Hey, pay attention. Which numbers we have to take together, by which numbers we have to cancel, that is a skill that helps you to calculate faster. So this will be 4 into 22 upon 7 into 3.5 square means 3.5 two times. Now pay attention. 7 ones are 7, 7 fives are 35, but because it was decimal it came 0.5. Now what I can do, I will multiply these two numbers together. 22 fours are 88 into 3.5 into 0 0.5 till here everyone will come in the normal way now what people will do is they will multiply these two numbers they will say 3.5 into 88 they will get some numbers then they will multiply by 0.5 this approach is wrong this will make the calculations lengthy let us be wise my approach would be like this surface area of sphere equal to 4 pi r square equal to 4 into pi into 3.5 square equal to 4 into 22 upon 7 into 3.5 into 3.5 till here I also followed the same steps but now I'm going to change something 7 ones are 7 7 point fives are now this point five is very important he is going to help us if you take it in a proper way now I will again multiply these two people 22 fours are 88, 2.5 I will bring in the front and 3.5 here. 0. 0.5 is a very beautiful number because it is 0. 0.5 means half. 0. 0.5 means half of what? Half of anything which it multiplies with. 88 into 0. 0.5 is 88 into half. See what I am saying? 88 into 0. 0.5 is 8 into half. Half of 88 is 44. So that gives us the answer orally and it helps us to arrive the answer faster accurately. I would write this as for 88 into 0.5 is 44 into 3.5. Now even when we are going to multiply this, don't try to take like this. Though the answer will be same, you should like multiply 3.5 into 44. Now again multiplying by 4, see, you should not do like this. 4 5s are 20, 0 carry 2, 4 3s are 12 plus 2, 14. Now same numbers will repeat because the two digits are same. So 0, 4, 1, 0 plus 0, 4 plus 5, 1, 1 point, 1 point. So this is 154.0 means the surface area of sphere is 154 square centimeter. We saw how we took the advantage of 0.5. So 0.5 is half. Always try to combine with some numbers which are integers. So their multiplication will give you the answer faster. Because doing half of any number is very easy. I will take one more simple problem to explain you how to multiply this 0.5. Suppose we have 36 into 0.5, it will be 18. If you have 47 into 0.5, see this was even. So getting the answer was easier. But if it is odd, 47. So imagine it is 46, half of 46 is 23. And this is 1, so half of 1 is 0.5. So this will be 23.5. If it is 49 into 0.5, 48 is 24. So this will be 24.5. Suppose you have 120 into 0.5, it will be 60. So multiplying by 0.5, 
I will write here in a bigger way. 0.5 is half. So keep this clue in mind. 0.5 is half. It will help you in the calculations. Thank you very much.